At the end of the last video, I sanded the fretboard to the right radius to match the frets. Before installing the frets, I first wanted to cut the slot for the nut to sit in, so that I could measure from this slot to get the correct spacings for all of the frets. I do this using the crosscut sled on my table saw. I set the blade height to just under 3mm using my calipers, made one pass, moved it over about a millimetre and made a second pass. And that gave me a slot just wide enough to accept the nut. It was quite a tight fit. I then shaped the end of the fretboard on the belt sander. I used the free Stumac fret calculator for the fret spacings. I marked these up measuring the distance from the nut slot with a steel ruler as accurately as I possibly could. I took my time and double checked the spacings once they were all marked up. I rigged up a little makeshift jig using some steel straight edge clamps to hold everything in place and a couple of scrap pieces of pine which would let me gauge how deep the slots were being cut to try and keep the depth of each cut consistent. I used a speed square to guide each cut and my thinnest tenon saw to make the cut. Next I marked up the centre point of the neck at both ends and joined the two marks with a line. Then I could mark up where the fret markers would go on the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th and 12th frets and so on, as is tradition. 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9,10,11,12 To make the fret markers I wanted to make some round oak dowels. The light colour of the oak would contrast nicely with the dark colour of the Sapili fretboard. I first cut a strip of oak to about 10mm square. Then I rounded over the end on the belt sander so that it would fit inside my drill chuck. I used some 40 grit sandpaper to round it over and then switched to 120 grit to make it smooth. It took a while to get the whole piece sanded to a consistent width but eventually I managed to get it close to 8mm thick along the entire length. I used an ice pick to centre punch each fret marker position to help guide the drill bit and then drilled them using an 8mm bit on the drill press. I sliced the dowel into short pieces on the bandsaw and then I could begin gluing them in one by one. Some of them were quite a tight fit but my mallet helped to seat them properly. When the glue had dried I used a flush cut saw to take off the ends and then I sanded them all flush with the random orbit sander. I had some small metal shims and two of these were the perfect width to scrape out any dust and debris that had got into the fret slots. 
Then I could centre the fretboard onto the neck at both ends and carefully turn it over and trace around it with a pencil. I then cut off the excess on the bandsaw, making sure to cut outside the lines as it would be better to leave too much material than not enough. Then I could install the fret wire using a mallet to seat it into the slots. Each piece of fret wire was a different length because the fretboard is tapered, so I had to sort them all into size order before fitting them, which was surprisingly difficult and quite time consuming. With all of the frets installed, I used the radius block pressed onto the fretboard and clamped this into the vise to squeeze everything tight and make sure all of the frets were properly seated. At the other end, where the vise couldn't reach, I just used a scrap piece of wood and some clamps, but I forgot to film that part. I poured some super glue into the fret slots at the end, so it would hopefully seep down into the slot and strengthen the hold on the frets. The glue I had was a bit too thick and gloopy. I really should have picked up something thinner, but I just pushed it down in there as much as I could, and it did seem to sink in there after a while. Some of the super glue got onto the front of the fretboard, so I cleaned this off with a chisel and then flattened the bottom of the fretboard on some 40 grit sandpaper. Finally, I could insert the truss rod and glue the fretboard to the neck. I used a piece of tape over the truss rod slot so that the glue wouldn't seep into the slot. Then I applied the glue spread it out with my finger and clamped the fretboard in place making sure everything was centered once again and using the radius block to hold everything down. 